when I saw that fight, Gio, I, I gave Sinesta a lot of their early rounds. I saw Yoka take over, you know, in the middle rounds. And, and then the last rounds, I want to say Yoka won maybe the majority of those. So that's why I, I gave her the edge slightly. Like you said, it would have been, it could have gone either way if you, if you break it down or it could have been a draw in my opinion. But the fact that it was, you know, so wide and, you know, with, of course with Siniesta, you know, having bragging rights because she does walk away with the title. She, she did say that she's all like, it wasn't close. I don't see why we have to run it back. I'm, I'm, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. The fact is that there isn't really anything bigger, Gio. Like you said, there's a narrative there. There's still a lot of money. Probably the biggest fact is a rematch with, with Yoka Stavalle. A lot of people in the arena do think that Yoka won. Uh, so she, even if she lost the titles, she, she walks away with a lot of new fans. So, so that's the fight that makes sense. So again, I feel like, like Siniesa should take a couple of days and, you know, and run it back. There's a lot of people that, you know, that are not convinced, you know, and so I think that that's the that's the fight that makes sense. Run it back, do it one more time, um, prove the people you know wrong, and 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 do what you said you did in this fight more convincingly. Por supuesto, eh, esto no acaba acá. Eh, créame que solo descanso lo que tengo que descansar de la cortada y voy a seguir entrenando para recuperar mis títulos mundiales. Eso es lo que quiero y esperemos que no sé qué estarán pensando, bueno, tanto el promotor de Costa Rica, Mario Vega, Golden Boy, para lo que sigue, pero yo estar listo para volverme a convertir en campeona mundial. Sería. All right, so that was Yoko Valle on her thoughts. And then let's go to the poll. Uh, let's see how people, obviously she said she thinks Sinesa is dirty because uh, she thinks it was an intentional headbutt that obviously affected the fight. But look at the poll here. 40% think Yoka won, 60% think Siniesa won 391 votes. Uh, we have someone who was uh, part of the big, big fight, women's boxing fight, Estrada and Yocasta Valle, uh, our good friend, Coach G. Coach, thank you for calling in. We are live on the podcast. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good evening. Good, good. Thank you. Chris, can you hear that okay? Yeah, I can hear you, Coach. All right, cool. So, Coach, you won't be able to hear Chris, but you can hear me. Uh, we were discussing uh the fight obviously a uh, big big fight last friday uh thank you for calling in once again what were your thoughts on the fight and the aftermath i mean i, I don't want to sound like uh, salty or anything you know you you guys see did see the fight a lot of the people the world saw the fight different countries we prepared well for that fight as you can see you know they said that we had no footwork. We couldn't fight backing up. Um, we couldn't fight southpaws. We showed we showed otherwise that day because I did my homework. We trained well. Um, I had five sparring partners. Every version of Sunny said they came out. We had that sparring inside in our camp. We had my daughter Roxy as a southpaw. You know she's the best out there. One of the best out there. She is the queen of LA. So I did make that clear as well. Um, she'll be up there in the in the big stage as well soon, God willing. Um, but yeah, you know, we did our job. We did what we did. And, and you know, um, I think the commentating was a little off. But if you watch it in Spanish, it's a whole different, a whole different, you know, um, a whole different version of the fight. Um, we got hit by it in the first round. During the instructions, they were giving us the referee and they asked me any concerns, any questions you have. And I, the first thing that came out of my mouth was watch the head butts knows how to come in with their head and he just looked at me and and he said okay uh, thank you anything else i said nope just watch the head butts and he said okay um, round one starts i believe it was a minute and a half into the fight we get a, a really uh bad head but as you can see the video over and over you know she comes in with her head a lot and um we got cut we got cut we got a uh, big dash on the eye you know and and um, that was a, a big result in the fight, too. You know, we can you imagine if we had two eyes or two eyes with no blood in our eye. Can you imagine, and, you know, me sitting in front of my fighter, looking her eye to eye, you know, and having that, that, um, the oppor you know, that, that time, the opportunity to be in, in front of her, to, you know, to take over the fight and to, to really show that Yoko Valle did, did work hard this camp and we did everything we did. And 
if we did everything that we did that night and, and you know, 90% of the people saw the fight go the other way, and you imagine if we had two eyes and she had her trainer in front of her. It had been a whole different story. But, you know, I mean, it's boxing. And, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, we are robbed. It's boxing. But for her to say that, you know, go cry in, go cry in Costa Rica, you're not getting a rematch because the fight wasn't even close. I mean, I, I just think that she's not, you know, it's that's that's the attitude that's not good for boxing, especially especially women boxing at, at that at that level, at that stage the highest stage where you want to be and, you know, just act gracefully, act, act humble, you know, and, and give the fight, give the fans the fights they deserve. Why not do, why not be the Marquez Barrera? Why not be the, uh, the, the, um, Marquez Manny Pacquiao in the female, female and the, you know, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Why not do that? Why not give the fans the best female fights there is out there and make it a trilogy? You know, why, why deny that? And, you know, I mean, that's why I, wasn't you know salty about it i was just you know speaking facts what what were your thoughts about the crowd reaction as soon as they announced that decision as soon as they announced the decision well i knew the numbers and and i i did the same thing in my head like oh hell no you know like this can't be this can't be you know and and you know, I, I I told a couple of people. I said, look, we may. I told you, okay, we may not walk. Out, we may not walk out with, um, with the uh, title as the queen of that division. But guess what? We took over her empire. We took over her palace. What's a queen without an without an empire? What's a queen without a palace? You know. So now they know who your Valle is, and and you know that's what we want. We want the people to be happy. We want the you know I, many people jump ship because. They saw how classy Jocasta was. They saw how professional we were throughout the whole camp. And, you know, I mean, the, the TV networks made it look, it was just about me, me and me and Sanisa. Like, I betrayed her. It was no betrayal in the first place. Let me make that clear. There was no betrayal. I did. I was great friends with them when we, they were younger. She was about 12, 13 years old, all the way to 15. They went their way. I went my way. Um, you're going to be salty about 18 years down the line that I trained they brought me the world champion and i trained her and we became five-time world champion how are you going to be salty and unprofessional about that you know there's i just think the whole thing is is just it's too, she made it too personal you know and now she doesn't want to get the rematch you know as i say but i was promised by by the main people that that move her career that they're going to give us a rematch it's okay we don't need a rematch she doesn't want to give us a rematch we don't need it but guess what we're going to be the the, the mandatory and that's how we're going to get that fight again. We're going to be the mandatory. Did you guys exchange any words after that fight at all with Sinessa? No. She, I mean, she's just still salty. Talking, you know, all her trash. And, you know, when we were walking back. And, you know, how, how are you going to have a mouthful of words when you just got booed by thousands of people? You know? It, she, she brought the belts back when we were with the, um, the media. She brought the belts back. And she kind of like threw him like very, very, you know, very unprofessional, very, very unprofessional, you know, and, and with, you know, which is fine. She just got booed. So, you know, it is what it is. How is Yoka doing? Obviously she got the big gash, uh, took the loss, took the loss on paper, but as you said, won the crowd. How was, how was Yoka after, after the day after the fight? You know, Yoka is at a level right now where where many, many fighters would love to be. They're superstars with no titles. The mega superstars. They're 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 people that people love these people and they don't have titles. Yoka doesn't need those she has her belts still, you know, Yoka doesn't need uh the title of, you know, like, oh I'm 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 disputed. What she showed Friday night. She won a lot of people over in her whole country. They're, they're out there waiting for her, ready to do, to do. I mean, everyone's just waiting for the queen to get back to Costa Rica. And they love her because Costa Rica is not big in boxing, but Yocasta Valle is. And they, they don't support boxing. They support Yocasta. And that's all that matters. You know, she didn't let her country down. She didn't let her people down. She gained a lot of new fans. Um, and that, that speaks volumes right there. Chris, do you have a question for Coach? I'll go ahead and translate. As I said, Coach can't hear you, but I will relay the question. 
Yes, I, I want to know, uh, Gio, um, in my opinion, um, Siniesa won maybe the first early round and then Yoka started taking over the, the middle rounds and then many of the of the late rounds. What were the adjustments that that Coach G made um, right there in the in those in those middle rounds? So Coach Chris is asking, what were some of the adjustments that you guys had to make, you know, uh, from the start to the fight, to the middle of the fight, to the end? Because you guys did come out, come out strong at the end. You guys clearly won the last couple rounds there. Well, when they got control of the bleeding, uh, um, the cut man, um, it was just, you know, look at this girl has no power that everyone thought she had. You know, they, I, uh, I kept asking her, how does the power feel? She says, nothing i said okay yeah we get kicked they caught with three four shots that were that were really great shots but at the end of the day we hit her with two shots buckled her she had to hold on she had, you know so we were the stronger ones in the inside i mean the adjustments we had to make we i had to worry i had to stop worrying about the cut and i had to worry about what was in front of us and I said, she's trying to take away your right hand. Now that right hand needs to come straight down the pipe, straight down to the chest or to the, to the body. You have to throw the right hand, aim for the shoulder, and she's going to dip right into it. Shoot the left hook. She's waiting for the, the right hand, shoot the left hook. So we were, we, were, we were doing that. You know, she never came forward, really. So, you know, she said we couldn't fight back, going back. Well, eight weeks in our camp, that's all we did. That's all we did. So we waited for her to come forward. She never came forward. Um, you know, looking at her footwork, that was nothing new to us in camp because, like I said, we had we had different styles. So we did miss a couple of shots. I'm not saying we were perfect in there, but we did miss a few shots until we can make the adjustments and and see her footwork. You know, keep in mind all the commotion, all all the emotion, and the blood running down her face. I didn't. I couldn't sit in front of my fighter as the trainer usually does because the man had to work every single round so it was just more just you know talking to her on the side of the ear so there was the communication there but it wasn't the communication that that i felt that if we had clear vision and she could see because she kept telling me she couldn't see the blood and the dust was in the eyes and so i mean yoka was just it was just kind of muscle memory when as every every different version of of uh Sinisa Estrada that was in front of us, we knew how to fight that style, that type. How does the rematch play out? Well, they say there's no rematch, but our plan is to be the mandatory. She's going to have to vacate her belts. We'll go through the belts. We'll move up where she's at just to get the people, the fans a great fight. Not, it's not nothing about, oh, I'm going to get it back or revenge. It's giving the people the great fights that they deserve. That fight was amazing. Could it have been better? Yeah. But that fight was amazing. I mean, do you agree with me? I definitely agree. You know, we just talked about, we talked about last week, you know, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, obviously kind of setting the tone, uh, setting the bar. And I think this fight was up there. And I think, hey, people want to see the rematch. But, Coach, we don't want to take too much of your time. We do want to discuss... Also, besides this great fight, we also want to discuss um, Alan Garcia, Kit Kansas, who, who obtained another stoppage victory that was earlier in the night. You had a busy night uh, that Friday in Arizona. Leading up to the fight, it was chaos. It was just crazy. You know, I, from one room to the other, interviews, and I mean, they were touching me in the hallways, and it, it was a lot of, it was a lot of, it was busy, like I expected. So I, I was mentally prepared for that. So I took one fight at a time, and thank God. Kid Kansas was, he fought at, I believe, at 4 o'clock, and Joe Costa fought at 8 o'clock. Um, so it gave me a few hours in between times to really, to really, you know, uh, get ready, prepare myself for the, the big fight we had in front of us. But yes, Kid Kansas, you know, had a great fight. The guy was 12 and 3, you know, 12 and 3. He, uh, he fought um, Mark Castro. He did get stopped in the seventh round, and I believe it took us one and a half rounds. We stopped him, so well, we're grateful. You know, this kid is growing, he's learning, and he's looking great. You know, so I'm I'm grateful for that because this young man is is definitely going to do something. So he's back on calendar in May, keeping him very busy. Yeah, and they also had you mic'd up at the moment of the knockout. I'm telling you, ESPN might as well hire you, coach. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, um, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, last question before we, we let Coach G go. I will go ahead and translate again. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's less of a question, more more of a of a, a comment statement. Yeah, I just want to let uh, coach know, um, you know, amazing job, you know, right there in that corner, uh, handling two fighters again. Yeah, I know it's you know it's like she has to compartmentalize, you know, both fighters, both fights, focus, you know, regroup, and then go to the next fight. But I just wanted to commend her for 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 a great fight, great entertainment. Again, a lot of people bought into this fight because of the outside narrative, but uh. You know, I know that we we have a, a a bit of a bias. I had to take my biases out, my my lens out, and try to try to see the fight, you know, as impartial as I can. And you know, I felt like she won. The crowd, you know, pretty much also, you know, saw them winning. Hopefully, we get that rematch because, like I said earlier, nobody is interested in Tenesa fighting anybody else other than uh, Yokasta Valle. And hopefully, you know, they get that next payday and get you know those titles back. But again, um, I think this fight proved. Uh, that they're definitely, you know, at, at a high level, these these two women, and that's where you want to see women's boxing. So long story less long, Chris forgets that I have to <laughs> say this question This question again. It was more of a statement. He says, he saw you guys winning, would like to see it again. Uh, I'll, I'll send this, I'll screen record and send it to G, Chris, all that you said. So she does it, because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to repeat all that. But uh, thank you, Coach. Thank you for checking in. Uh, we'll be in tune. You said May is the next possible date there for Alan. We'll be there. Uh, congrats on the W and congrats on a great show with Yoka. Uh, as I said, a lot of people saw you guys winning and and you guys were were very, very close to making history undisputed. And hopefully uh, you guys can get the rematch going. Well, yeah, but that night, I, I do believe we did make history because it's, it was two Latina women, you know, and and women you know at the top of their, their game and, and we made history of me being the first female to to take a fighter to fight for undisputed belts so that's when we put in the door it didn't go our way um friday night but guess what we won a lot of respect and won a lot of a lot of fans and i'm grateful for everyone that that supports us and i'm grateful for even for the people that don't support us they just want to pay uh, you know, pay to watch us fail. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's all a business. I appreciate everyone. We appreciate everyone. I'm sorry, I'm barely getting my voice back. So my voice is really. Uh, we we're glad. We're we're happy that that we that we lived up to the hype. And, uh, you know, there's the last day you just made her hungrier. So be be ready for not the rematch, but for the mandatory, the mandatory fight. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Coach G, trainer of Yocasta Valle, also trainer of Alan Garcia. Thank you, Coach, once again. Have a great night, and we'll talk soon. Thank you guys for having me. Good night. Thank you. Good night.